Have you ever tried to create a custom form element in Angular, only to find that the validation state isn't working as expected? It's frustrating, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into how to access the form control of your custom control value accessor in Angular 2 and beyond. I know how annoying it is when your custom components don't behave as you expect. You're not alone in this struggle. Many developers face similar issues when working with Angular forms. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user recently asked, can I access the form control of my custom control value accessor in Angular 2 Plus? They mentioned that their validation state isn't propagating to a nested select element. Sound familiar? If so, let's dig into this together and find a solution. So what could be causing this issue? When creating a custom control value accessor, it's crucial to ensure that the form control properties are correctly propagated to the wrapped element. We'll break it down step by step so you can understand what's going wrong. And don't go anywhere. I've got a pro tip at the end that will help you avoid these issues in the future. To ensure that the form control properties propagate correctly to the wrapped select element, the user should first confirm that the control value accessor interface is implemented properly. This includes defining the right value, register on change, and register on touched methods. Next, the user should ensure that the ng model directive is correctly bound to the selected value property in the template. This allows Angular to track the value of the select element. The user should also make sure that the propagate change function is called whenever the ng model changes. This is crucial for notifying Angular about the changes in the select element's value. Finally, the user should verify that the form control's validation state is correctly reflected in the select element. This can be done by checking the disabled property and ensuring it updates based on the form control's state. Did you know? Angular's reactive forms are designed to handle complex scenarios, but they can be tricky when it comes to custom components. It's like trying to teach a cat to fetch. Possible, but requires patience. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach shared by another user involves accessing the underlying form control and control value accessor directly. This method allows you to reuse existing form control instances, simplifying your custom component implementation. That's all on that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative approach shared by another user involves implementing validation using the validator interface. They suggest that when you create a validation function, the abstract control is passed in early, allowing you to store it for later use. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always test your custom control value accessor thoroughly. Use Angular's testing utilities to ensure that your form controls behave as expected. And there you have it. With these steps, you should be able to access the form control of your custom control value accessor successfully. Remember, testing is key. If you found this helpful, hit the subscribe button for more tips, and don't miss our bonus pro tip on creating seamless Angular forms.